yeah, we're going. This Comedy Store podcast. Felipe and I are matching, and I'm excited about it. Uh, do you, you always wear Adidas, too. Yeah. Which, by the way, is a huge thing of mine as well. That's why I like you so much. I have the shells on right now. Who the fuck is this? Oh, Betty Bronger's in the house. What's up, man? We got a special guest with us. Felipe Esparza. Exciting. How was upstairs? Uh, it was cool. Yeah, it was fun. So it was funny. So fun. I love shows where I don't have. Have you done stand up on the spot? Stand- Jeremiah Watkins. Oh, show? he told me about it, but I didn't go. <laughs> So you. What, what, is it, what, I, did, like, what did that mean on the spot? Like, you do your material or no, you do other people? suggestions. That's they a, give suggestions, right? Yeah. I love because you just don't have to remember anything. It's like, nice. So you go. just go up and they yell shit out. Like, that only works if you're a white comic. Really? Because if you're a black comic, do whatever racial person thing. Or do beaner jokes or do so talking So Mexican jokes. would be, do a so, beaner like white joke? People, or? White people yell out stuff, like do something racial. There uh, was there was some of that, but Tony yeah. Baker, like... It, it, most of his stuff was just obscure. Like, yeah, Baker is like people like talk people, about a cat. I could see them being like, because he does all the talk videos. about hubcaps. Somebody <laughs> might allow something racial like that, or yeah, talk about that, being a, an illegal a Mexican. That's rude oh, they because would. they would say it to a Puerto Rican. They have to be yeah. was, accurate if there, you're going to be racist. There was a woman who was Hispanic and she just kept yelling. Her suggestion was Mexicans to two yeah. people. Was, wow, all right, you know, I, oh, she, <laughs> like, they might yell out, "Let me buy you a drink," and then they walk out of the show. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up, Felipe. Did you hear about that George Lopez being heckled that bad? Yeah, I just heard about this. What happened? Oh man, like they were yelling out hubcap and he's no, like, I'm was, they were yelling out everything, man. Like oh, really? he couldn't get a word out. Word out. He wow. just, every time he opened his mouth, I love you, George. Oh, every time he he, he started to get to a premise, let me buy you a drink. Oh god. And then he couldn't Wait, get it. Wait, so like, it was positive heckles? 30 minutes of positive heckles. Oh my God. That's and not they, my they, rarity. They didn't joke. throw this person out? No. And then um Paul um George finally said, um, that's it, man. I'm out of here. Whoa. Well, yeah, yeah. That's the one the I think it was a casino, right? Yeah. That would be on I, that I, and I, their I, security. I've been yeah. to that casino and everyone yells. Yeah, yeah. Really? People get as soon as like before even before the show starts, there's like um Buckets of beer everywhere. Yeah, everyone's wasted. Yeah, and yeah, you're, yeah. they're performing. I don't. I don't. Know if, I know. I'm pretty sure George. That happened to George. He was performing, and you can see the beer line. <laughs> oh um, my! How long God. the beer line? Oh, yeah, yeah. And you can see the bathroom line when you're on stage, and then there's people who never really make it to the show because they're buying beer. Oh my! God. And you can see God. people get up, yeah, buy yeah, yeah. beer mm-hmm. through the whole night. Wow! It's not. A, it's not like a theater where they come and sit down. Right, right, right. People come there to get fucked up. Yeah, yeah. What's the casino again? Shit out. I don't know. It's in Porterville or somewhere. Okay. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, I, I didn't even know Porterville had an airport until, until George left on it the same <laughs> night. <laughs> There's an Agua Caliente that I did like a long time well, ago. And you're just that sounds giant. Raises, a good buffet. but I like it. Yeah. Agua. I want a good buffet. Yeah, no, just hot water. Okay. <laughs> Like, that's it. That's that's what I, good, in my head, I was cool. like, sounds exotic. Agua caliente. Yeah. Agua caliente. Yeah. Imagine hot water. Pantalones grande. <laughs> oh. They, what? Big pants? That's yeah, 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 yeah. At my show, people don't heckle. Cause At all? I don't talk to the audience, rarely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're, they're, no, not, they're not like there's no footage of me ever talking to the audience. No, that's man. Right. How about you when you go on the road? Do people yell? Out? I could see them yelling out and throwing. Sometimes, stuff at you. rarely, <laughs> rarely. But like, it's it's usually like that casino guy. There'll be like one wasted guy that doesn't know how loud he's being. You know, and, well, but, and you, it's always people that think they're they think they're talking to you. Also, the helping. positive yeah. heckler is weird. Like, yeah. Yeah. I work I for you. Dice, so they're always like, "Hey, show us your tits!" Like they're still in the Stone Age. Sure, yeah. They're fucking. <laughs> Crazy, right? Hickory, hickory, dog. As soon as he comes out, they'll start yelling that, right? But they don't I even give him a minute. Oh, not a comic? <laughs> I, I think what? I did it. I think I yelled it out at his show in Miami Improv. You did it? I was there the night before his show, and it was sold out. <laughs> and um, he did he did his bits, and he, he made fun of this great car, crowd work, too. He made fun of this guy's sweater. You're trying to get laid with that sweater? <laughs> and then... Um, and he was. He was 21. Oh. And then, but then I started yelling out um, nursery rhymes, trying to get people to yell it out nursery rhymes. Yeah. Felipe's a, a nursery ball breaker, rhymes. Which is great. Nursery mm-hmm. rhymes. Tell him about what you did to him at the airport. Oh man, um, I was with um Gary, uh, Rodrigo Torres, my co-host on the podcast, uh. and um, <laughs> he he um paged 
Andrew Dice Clay from one of the phones. Yeah, yeah. Andrew <laughs> Silverstein. Yeah, 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 yeah. Andrew Silverstein, please show up to Game Five. <laughs> and the Dice Man, like, hey, man, I think they're going to take away Miles or something. <laughs> No, I was. I thought it was me. I thought I fucked something up because oh, we yeah, were yeah. together on the road, and oh. I was like, "Oh no, I did something wrong." So I panicked and I run over, and I'm did like, "You hey. know, you, you know." No, I didn't see him. That's I don't know how I didn't see him. He was wearing a yellow <laughs> fucking Adidas yeah, suit. He looked like a Mexican banana. It was amazing, and I was like, "Oh my god, how did I not see him?" But he, he, they were like hiding out. Wow. <laughs> then and we ran into DL Hughley we or Dio some Hughley shit. and a bunch of other comedians. I love, time. man. I love. Seeing like a bunch of just random comedians. Yeah, there was a bunch of comedians. You know, Tom Papa. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, D- and Dice loved it, by the way. That's great. Because that's of his. That's his thing. Yeah. So now we almost got you one time, but he we we were running late. But we saw him, and but you didn't see us. And then, <laughs> but we're still looking. We're still looking nice. to get him back. Yeah, because he saw back. Rodrigo at the, inside the airport. <laughs> I'm going to get you. Not today, <laughs> not tomorrow, yeah. next year, but it's coming. It's coming. He still thinks about it. Watch your back. Yeah, yeah. Imagine if, like, every airport, you just look around. Oh, yeah. Like, anytime it? they page you, you're like, I'm not going to go. And it's, <laughs> it's an emergency. Like, something happened to your family. Or, like, <laughs> you're like, I'm not going. It's no, got to be Felipe. No, this is fake. It's fucking Felipe. Fake. I went to a show at the Celebrity Theater. I was performing at the Celebrity mm-hmm. Theater back in the day, and the okay. guy gave me free tickets. I did I did press the night before. Okay. And then after press, I had nothing to do that night. And the owner of the the booker okay. gave me um free ticket to see Diana Ross. So they fucking oh wow! That's in dope. the round like in that. In the round, man. Have front, you done the celebrity front row tickets? Oh like, man! Whoa! And I saw her in Vegas. It was dope. She had like fans from every genre, man. Like yeah. fans from the beginning. Yep. Like old gay dudes dressed like her, wearing her outfits, yep. bro. Like they were like. Happy I, pride, I remember guys. when um, Diana Ross looked over in my direction and she said, thank you very much for being here. And I, I thought she was talking to me too, right? Huh? But this, <laughs> this gay guy next to me, he looked at his gay partner. He was, did you see that? Yeah, and you're like, uh, it, was, it was him. And she was a great performer, man. Like She kept mm-hmm. saying, um, um, I'm going to leave now. <laughs> it's just three encores. And then the second encore, the last one, she said she came back dressed in a hoodie, like the black, like a regular hoodie and sweats, and her um, sandals. Yeah. She goes, I was halfway out of this theater. I saw you guys clapping, and I turned around and came back. Wow. <laughs> she probably says that shit every time. I was gonna say it's such a bullshit line. Yeah, but, but it, but it, it works. works. Yeah. yeah. But, but I, during the whole show, there was a Mexican yell, lady yelling out like this. Diana, <laughs> the Camacho family loves you, man. No. She must have heard it five times. Yeah. Then she, she's about to sing Lady Sings the Blues. Camacho family loves you. I thought you, I love you guys too. Cha- okay. She tried to say Camacho, I'm machos. The Chachos. But, but you could tell it, it came out like, shut up, you fucking bitch. You. <laughs> you fucking Mexican please, bitch, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Somebody take her out of this. But yeah. that was the same theater where um, Cat Williams got into a fight with a Mexican guy. Are you saying Mexicans are a problem? I like that. Yeah, they were, they were at the Liberty Theater. Um, Cat Williams got in trouble. Who sent you here? Trump? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We just here. We were happy people, man. We want to touch happy. you. You want to yell Latino it out? Latino fans are different from other fans. Like, they feel like they own you. Like, like they, if you fucking start changing, they, they don't follow you no more. Like, my friend, um, Chingo Bling, mm-hmm. he yeah. turned into a, a Trump supporter. As, I don't know if it was a joke. Oh, shit. 65,000 followers he lost, like, in three months. Wow. wow. Yeah. Well, I mean. And yeah. usually that's the turn where people, like, you'll gain them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because He lost them. That's wild. That's wild. I, it's, you can gain them by getting— I, I Oh, yeah, like no. Any I mean, politics— we're in, the, we're, we're, in the, we're in the era where, like, people that are, like, D-list celebrities and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, oh, like, I see what you're saying. Is, but, like, you know, like, actors and stuff yeah. come out. And then, somebody you never have thought about in the longest time will be like, you know what? I like them, and it's just to get back on the radar. You know what I mean? Uh, people you forgot Rob about. Schneider. People that like. <laughs> have, yeah. I feel yeah. like people hate it. I feel yeah. like uh, and, I, and I, I mean, don't mean. Either and in other Trump words, like in, in 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 other news, I'm I'm voting for Trump, and I want you. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm trying to hold on. I went no, to like, uh, I was, no. I went, I was like working that. in Naples, Florida. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> At off, off the Hook Comedy Club. Yeah, so great. Captain Brian's. Captain Brian at the place where um uh, someone called uh, the the police nine one one and I met I met there. And I, I oh, yeah, what? bro, I met him uh, just for being Middle Eastern. This is a met I met bed. Um, 
How many Muslims do we have here? Middle Eastern, five, seven. Where are you from? Iran, Iraq? Where are you from? Pakistan? All right, man. We have enough for a terrorist attack. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> this guy went home. The guy, I remember, went oh, home. I remember that. Went golfing. Went swimming. Thought about went it. Went to the gym. Um, ate fried chicken, bro. Made love to his wife. <laughs> During the morning, he called 911. Wow. And he goes, um... I don't know if this is the, uh, an emergency call, but last night oh my I was God. at a show. Shut well, there was a comedian named Ahmed Amen. I'm just on the name alone to tell you that the show was not that full, you know? And, um, Whoa. and, um, just like you're like, he said, Whoa. where are the Muslims at? And Iran guy was there and he <laughs> said, guy. we're going to blow this place up, <laughs> you know? Jesus and Christ. this was a seven o'clock show. I don't know. If you want to look into this, but tomorrow he, has, tomorrow he has two shows, that one at 7, one at 9. And, and the uh, fact that he was lucid enough to yeah. know the exact... <laughs> what, nine well, so and, usually, you, uh, uh, officer, yeah, called, you space Captain out the Brian's, shows by at least an hour and a half so you can see people at time. Captain Brian's um, comedy club is the cross Off street. the hook. You got to go straight on the Immokalee Road. He's not a real captain. You got to go but, straight on the Immokalee no. Road, right? Immokalee <laughs> Road. And you're going to make a left on international great, great crab right legs, next to the officer. Publix. There's a comedy club called... <laughs> um, the Surf and Turf is exception. Yes. This is a, you're going to pass by a pollo... Tropical. It's a Cuban restaurant. They're cool. They're brown. They're, They're cool. cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're the okay kinds of brown, <laughs> uh, officer, if you know what so I'm talking about. This guy, the, the, the cops show wild. up, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. And then um, God. He, for his last show, this guy shows up dressed like Mrs. Doubtfire. No. Because he wanted to see if he was going to do the joke again. No. The guy yeah. called so it came in, came like... in drag? Yeah, like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> And then when, when, it's very this, specific. It sounds like this saying. is Andrew Dice Clay pulling yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the way I, out, he took out, doing a he prank. took out his wig and the guy said, um, um, I made, I made, a, I, that's the guy, he showed up. So there's a place called Seed to Farm or Farm to Seed. It's a restaurant. Okay. Farm to Table. And my, farm to Table. And my friend Bush asked the guy, what's a good place to go after the show? Wow, bro, there's this place called Farm to Table. It's like a grocery store, but it's also a nightclub. So man, you you're doing groceries and there's people doing line dance while you're while you're. So you're just you, biting a cucumber. You're you're, you're you're looking at a cucumber, how much it is, and to the left, there's a bunch of rednecks doing line dancing. You know, and this is in Naples. Yeah, in Naples. Holy shit! And we gotta find. I didn't way. know. I haven't yeah. been in Naples in like ten years. But then years. the okay. guy goes, "I never go there, bro." Cause the uh, the owner of that place, he's like suck. He's like sucking Trump's dick all the time. Right. So <laughs> a lot of that going around in Naples. Yeah. So I don't want to <laughs> go there, man. So <laughs> all the urinals, all the urinals at this place are by his mouth. No. Oh God. Yeah. Oh. And, um, there's a, well, it is open. You know, a lot. you know how we, you know how Mexican we we love Jesus Christ, and Thanks, we saw man. pictures of Jesus Christ next to um a lowrider. <laughs> the, sure. Yeah, that's, yeah, but that, that's nice. This is the way I saw it. That I can. I see. didn't see it any other way. Yeah, I could see it. They had a picture of Trump. <laughs> With a with a that big angel, no, yeah, know, and, 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 and he's shredded like and Jesus was ripped. He goes, Jesus Christ died on three sixteen, but Trump is coming back in twenty twenty four. Oh boy, oh. yeah, and then like there was um a, lots of pictures of Jesus walking with Trump. Gotta be they careful. were standing yeah. like hot cake, sure. bro. Yeah, I got to bow my head every time you say Jesus, so be careful. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm not, like, doing anything weird. But I was like, like I don't yeah, have a yeah, yeah, man. I, I need yeah. merch like that. I need to be selling merch next to Jesus walking around. There you walking go. Around That'd be dope. Boulevard. Dad, Felipe Esparza, like, it's yeah, you, like, like signing merch, and Jesus is like this. Bro, like, you're Mexican. on stage killing, and, like, he's next to you just, like, hot, like, laughing with a I beer. wonder, is, has just anybody— happy party Jesus. It's like bad Red Sox yeah. material. Has anybody made a Trump sarape, you know? What like was that? a mega sarape, like a poncho, mega sarape. or a Mexican blanket made of Trump with a big line on I'm it. I'm sure that's out there, man. Has to be. It's got to be. They, Trump, it. aqua caliente, and they sell it in a bottle. It's hot water. Yeah, it's great. should be like the uh, the the hood should go up, and it's Trump's hair, like it's just painted <laughs> like that, so everybody can have the blonde wig. I like that. You know? What if Trump will get? We'll get heckled in Fresno, California, too. Let me buy you a drink, Trump. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> 
Pinche Trumpies. That must drive. Te amo. Dude, it must drive people crazy. I got here. He you doesn't can't drink. Stop it. You know what I mean? It must drive like some of his followers crazy. They're like, what? That oh, he doesn't. He doesn't drink. So it's like it must be just like I want him oh. to have a beer so goddamn yeah. bad. Yeah. How do you know? know he doesn't drink? He, he, he had an alcoholic brother who told him like don't touch it his, and like don't smoke, don't drink. So he never did. But he's <laughs> he's addicted to speed. That's so I don't so know. amazing. Yeah. I don't he know anything about these people. Snorts them. Yeah, they do it on uh, one of the. EPs on The Apprentice, his NDA just ran out. So he's like, he's just telling people. That dude, I heard him on Howard Stern. Ooh. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he, he crushes up speed and snorts it. That's why he wears he diapers. Wears, yep, exactly. Because he just dumps, what? dumps in his pants all the time. What am I, what feed am I not on? Well, l- I listen, never know any of listen, this shit. Since it's the comedy store, we'll get some cocaine for you. That and, I that uh, I get. It really that messed I'm up with. your digestive system. <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's chop some rails. That I'm in. That is you crazy that yeah. that speed does that to you. Because I, mm-hmm. I, I didn't. Methamphetamine years ago, but not anymore. Mm. I, never, I never got to the, that point where. Well, any, like anything that. that elevates your blood pressure like that and gets you like like uppers, you know, like oxidant, like, oxycodone does that, right? Yeah, like yeah. A, same with coffee. Coffee makes yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You gotta, coffee keeps you regular. Yeah. You know? So like you know, it's it's cocaine is like that too. Ooh. You, know. you ever party here at the yeah. store? Like do coke here? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I my coke days are a long time before I got past here. <laughs> You know, like was, oh, you were a teenager. I, I did one time. I, was, I, um, I know you did. I went to the piano. No, it was dark as fuck. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I went on stage and oh, I yeah. poured it on the table just to see if anybody shows up. You Holy know, shit! All of a sudden, they come that. out. Like out in the open. Yeah, nothing man. The oh, what do you have? Right. It's Kinnison just yelling. Up. Yeah. I knew there was a comic in Chicago who went to like JFL and like uh, got this you know huge development deal back when that used to happen. Okay. Back in, like, yeah. Yeah. Probably like 1998. When it was a real business. But he was also addicted to drugs, and he he uh, he got that money and like blew through it, literally snorted it, and then tried to rob a bank. And he was Ooh. on coke and we had a mask on and he's on the way in the bank and he shit his pants. And that's what stopped. Oh my God. Like he was just like, that was the thing that hit him that was just like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever. And he had a joke about it and it was fucking amazing. But it was you, like, anyway. I get yeah. Wait, he did a joke about it on stage? Yeah, this is sober years later. Holy yeah, yeah. Shit. So he yeah. did get sober. How much was his deal? A million? It was like, it was like, no, 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 no. But it was like 100,000 probably. Oh, which for oh, that era, well, yeah, 100,000 yeah, yeah. is pretty that's incredible. Great. Yeah. Like a holding Anything, deal or something. Back when that kind of thing needs to good, happen. But they used to give like yeah, a couple chicken, million. right? I mean, a million. <laughs> yeah. When, the year I went, they chicken didn't give man. shit. Oh, no, my, me no neither. Gonna, I was yeah. in 05, nothing. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was Post 9 11. Nada, bro. Anything nothing. after 9 11, they stopped. Well, it was like the internet had already arrived. So they yeah. had seen everybody for the most part. So yeah. kind of like they'd found people. If they were going to give deals, they were going to give deals. But it's like, it was, but they were that's losing. not a thing they did anymore. They were like, we can't Actually, beat money like that now. The only person that got a deal was uh, um, not Flight of the Concourse because they were there okay. the year I was there. They were mm-hmm. hot. Yeah. And Jeremy Haas got a deal, but it was a Canada deal. Okay. Oh, right, right, show right, right. there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and that's at Montreal. 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 Yeah. Uh, Which have, just that JFL what got uh, bankrupt and then got bought. Just yeah. Now. Now. Just now, right? Yeah. Just now. Who, who bought it? So, the Moon Tower people? No. No. Or is no. That the no. Same? I think it was a Canadian company. I think it was a Canadian oh, company bought it. Oh. Okay. So they're kind of keeping it in house, but they also bought. It's so funny because you know you you when you do that festival you do like. You know, a set to like a ten minute set. Yeah, yeah. And you do a couple of them, right? Yeah, that yeah. you'll you'll never see. This is not an American right. television. Right. Never. And then uh uh so like they, they they now own all those sets. So I'm just oh, like, oh I got probably like shit. four or five of those sets that are just <laughs> banging around there. You know? I don't have any. I don't really so get I'm to see excited. Not. You watch that show, um, Baby Reindeer? Yes. Yeah. You done that gig he did, Fringe? Ever? Anybody? No, oh. I was never in Fringe. Oh, but I no. heard I great heard things. Edinburgh. Yeah, I you heard done that. It? No, but I heard it. That's the way it is. No, you, it you is. You set up at one spot all yeah. month. Oh yeah, it's, and you do other shows, but that's your spot. You have that, to promote yourself. You promote yourself. Yeah. You all yourself. Ran out the theater yourself. Yep. It's crazy. So that's why that guy was allowed to perform there because they were part of the festival. That little spot, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ari Shafir did it, and then he explained it to everybody. Like, try if you ever want to do it. Yeah. This is the best way. And then like Jessica Michelle Singleton went. Yeah. Like a bunch of people went, but I never had the courage. I'm I not know, doing a whole that. Month, right? I, I just but, a whole month. You have to promote yourself. Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's I the just grid, didn't, but. I didn't have. Have the the scratch to do it when it yeah. would have helped me. Yeah. And then once it was like doing okay, I was just like, this just doesn't make financial sense. Right. It's like at a certain point you stop doing festivals for the fun. You're like, you gotta pay me. I'm not yeah. going for free. Right, here. right, right. I'm not. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna sleep on someone's couch, man. You know what I mean? Like that. That's like twenty something life. It's yeah. Yeah, it is. Best. But it's like, I mean, I know people that like, 
one little things here and there, and it, it really helped them, but mm-hmm. there's just so many acts. It's so, too much. Yeah. It's too much pressure. Mm-hmm. That's why I liked, um, was it Moon Tower? I think that was the one I just did. It was pretty... It was pretty laxed. And mm-hmm. my favorite one of all time is Skank Fest. I don't know if you know. Oh, I've never done Skank Fest. I mean, that, good. it's so big now. It's huge, it's but crazy. it's also like you just don't feel that you're, uh, you know, you just don't feel like you're in a festival. You're, you mm. just feel like you're hanging out with your buddies. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing killer shows, That's packed cool. shows, yeah. and you're um, just like walking on air kind yeah. of thing because yeah. you don't feel the pressure of like the industry even though they do show up but not like the snobby industry like mm-hmm. the fun industry that is in it for the love of comedy yeah I mean we had uh, I co-founded Bridgetown in Portland that ran for 10 years oh okay and, like, that was like it was like if if we did that now and I put both you guys in there, like, everybody in Portland would be like, oh, dope, this is great. All, the cool thing is all the audiences were just like, we'd ready them. You know, we'd, like, yeah. put press release out, re- releases out, and people would be like, because they, they want different voices. They want different people coming in and doing that stuff. And now it's, like, this giant, vibrant scene. So we always, you know, every comic I knew that did it, they just was like, it was like summer camp for yeah. comics. You know, you just, it, and it was only, like, a weekend. You know, we kept it real small. It wasn't like, you know, and I started because I used to go, do comedy in Portland where I had a friend of mine who who booked bands and mm-hmm. the band started at 10. I was like, well, can I have the 8 to 10 slot in this like old rock club that was, used to be a funeral home? Mm-hmm. I'd do like the 8 wow. to 10. I'd, I'd promote it myself and we'd uh, five bucks at the door and that would pay for my plane ticket to get me home just to see my folks kind of thing. So that was the thing. And then I had people like friends show up who were like on all these comedy, you know, threads and like websites and stuff and be like, hey, can I open for you? Hey, what do you think about doing a comedy festival? And all, they did all the work. I would watch young comics tapes sometimes mm-hmm. and be like, oh, this person's good. Or someone over for me on the road would be like, you come up, you come to Portland, you're great. You know, but like mostly I'd ask my more famous friends if they would slum it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and do it. And it was like, typically they'd be like, I can't burn. I can't burn that area. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, too yeah. good. You what know? was the name of the comic, comedy club over there that closed? Uh, yeah. Harvey's. Oh, yeah, I did that. I like we play Harvey's? Harvey's. Oh, shit. Yeah, I stood yeah. at that condo. Um, that comedian um, that owns Ventura Harbor. Andres Fernandez. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. He was booked and he couldn't do it. Okay. So I was like, I guess I was bottom of his list and he called me. <laughs> cool. So I replaced him. All right. So then I got booked. And that's how I got in. Yeah. yeah. And the second time I went there, um, well, I didn't know that they didn't, I didn't know that they, that they didn't pick you up on the airport. I didn't know none of that. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. So I had to catch a train from the airport oh to the comedy club to pick up the keys, <laughs> yeah. condo oh keys. <laughs> and then he'll drive me to the condo. Yeah. Then the condo right next to his house. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is uncomfortable. And then <laughs> no, no. And then like I was alone, so I would yeah. catch a bus to the show every night. Oh my god. I would catch a bus right there oh, on Beaverton. Wow. Yeah. Around four or five. Yeah. And then I'll take me to Harvey's, and then immediately after the show, I will run to the to guys the last spot, the last the last bus, bus at eleven forty five. Fuck. <gasps> the bunch of drunk people from Portland. Yeah. Because they well, need it's, it's too. A, it's an old town. Yeah. Where yeah, all, yeah, the, yeah, where yeah, all yeah. the homeless people are. So we'll take uh, that bus back. Oh Jesus. That's Man, so funny. I got there for I, I did Thanksgiving weekend. Okay. So I, I flew in on Thanksgiving. Oh my god. So I figured all right, I get to just get high all day. Yeah. And chill. go hang out at Paul's books all day. Yeah. And eat pizza. This will be my plan. This guy invites me over to a house for Thanksgiving. Oh, I couldn't no. say no. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I'm stuck there, man. Like, oh, the I owner of, the, of that club, and his mother is the coolest oh, yeah. person I ever met. She has pictures of he her. Cool. She has pictures of her like this, holding um, Under the Giant's hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Have you ever seen a picture of um, Under the Giant? At a bar, and you yeah. see like a real older blonde lady. Uh-huh. That's the owner oh. of Harvey's mom. Oh, that's cool. That's his mother. That's wow. so funny. She ran the yeah. club before the comedy club, and then Roddy Piper, all the wrestler, would come mm-hmm. in there yeah. and wrestle in Vancouver. Yeah. So the mom was started talking to me like, you know, I was a, a new friend. <laughs> so they're Italian. Yeah. They're half Italian because the dad, the, their, their dad, he was a. a a dancer, like a, he danced. Oh, okay. He would, he would dance couple Like a professional. Oh, okay, cool. Him and his, him and um, Dan Conley's mom. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> they would dance professional, and she told me they didn't like him because you know he was a little, he was a little darker, but he was Italian. And then um, I love the whisper. And, and then she, she, she told me like this. You know. She said that um, 
That's they were getting of... death threats, bro, because, you know, oh, wow. he was a beautiful oh. blonde woman. Yeah. And, and then that fool, he said that he went door to door <laughs> at, asking them who wants to fight, bro. Yeah. That's wow. very Italian, by the way. Fucking, yes. He went through every fucking door, bro. That's funny. All the, around the block, <laughs> across the street. Yeah. So everything's good, right? And then, then she got too, too tipsy, right? And um, one of the brothers was there I never met. And then she started talking about it. And I made a bit about it because I had a stuttering problem. And my mom would always bring it up in front of everybody to embarrass me. Mm -hmm. So this guy's 60, bro, 62. He goes, remember you had that twitch when you were little? <laughs> and then all of a sudden it comes back in oh, front of me, bro. He's like, oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh. And then he, he wasn't doing it he the whole twitching. night. Oh, he started twitching when she mentioned she it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poked she her. poked him, bro. You can summon it. Because she, she would be out doing something he didn't like that night. So she poked him. And I was like, man, I was like, I was looking for an out of here. I don't want to yeah. be here. <laughs> yeah. So I was getting more, more uncomfortable. Dude. You know, what's next? I hate Mexicans. You yeah. Know? So we go door to door. So I, I changed the subject. I say, um, Dan, um, I was talking to some of the comics. They said they told me that you you have to uh, they have to audition for you in front of your desk. Is that true? <laughs> Start twitching Cause, again. Because um, <laughs> he um, a friend of mine named Richard Bain. Mm -hmm. He said yeah. that he had to. Uh, he, he, he was going to be a new host, so the owner of Harvey's told him to perform in front of him behind his, in front of his desk, like a little trained monkey, right? <gasps> oh so he had to do a whole God. ten minutes with no audience, just him like this. Dude, yeah. So and I asked him, what's up with that? Oh man, these fucking comics. They tell me they're clean and then, then they're dirty. So I want to see the whole I want to see the real act. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he watches every set from his home. Like he has a live no. view. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did, okay, did he sell this place or it get just rid got of turned? It? it just went uh I think it just went back. It's up. closed it's, right now. Because well, I feel yeah. like I worked it, but I worked it for a different yeah. person than but that. But everybody guy. has, I mean, I remember uh uh like um God, it was fucking... And then it closed again. Because yeah. every time I go somewhere, yeah. it closes immediately. Uh, what's the name? I did JFL uh, last year. Um, no, Sorry, guys. Look, like, Adam I remember Norris trying to buy it yeah. one time. Right, but there was another guy that owned it. Like, I've heard so many comics be like... Like, I remember Louie was talking about being on the road years and years ago. He's just like, you know, like a week in, mm -hmm. at Comedy Works makes up for that week at Harvey's in Portland. Like, just being like, <laughs> talking like it's the yin and yang. Like, the shittiest... <laughs> You know, and like That's I remember, funny. I met Bill Burr when I was on Comedy Central. Was doing like a pilot with him that was going to be like because Chappelle's show had just taken off. Yeah, and they were like, you know, like maybe like six years post Chappelle, they were like mm -hmm. they're trying to you know, like do something like that with with Bill Burr, where he same thing on the stage. Yeah. There's a carpet and he does a bit and it cuts to like a sketch. And I was in one sketch with with Bill as like. You know, like, I forget, we were, like, newscasters that were kind of, like, giving shitty news or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, like, he came over, and we are just we we're just shooting the shit and talking. He's like, he's like, oh, you're a comic, you know, and just talking to me and stuff. And then he goes, he's he's like, uh, mm -hmm. he, he was talking, I was just about to do Letterman, like, in a couple weeks. This, actually, this was 2008. And so uh, I told him I was going to do Letterman. He's like, he's like, ah, oh, it's the best. You get one good joke out, they laugh, boom, you feel great. You feel great. Nervousness goes away. It's fantastic. And I'm like, oh, cool, thanks, man. He's like, where are you from? He, he go, I said, Portland. He goes, ah, oh, fucking Harvey's. Fucking, man, that, that fucking place. Like, he snapped. <laughs> he just snapped. It, it was, was just like, like a trigger just for the went tr off yeah. on, that, on Dan. Because he said, like, Dan used to put his arm around him and be, be like, this is my headliner. Like, in a bar. <sighs> and oh, yeah, like, yeah. I don't, the, like, I'm not like a prize horse. Yeah, yeah, it's arm weird. Off. Yeah, the, yeah, the guy from Reno did that the first time. But then the second time, I said, man, I said later. He took me to, um, he took me to do press. Okay, but then, like, man, it's time to go Back to my room. I'm yeah. Trying to get some sleep here. He takes me to buy, he takes me with him to buy all the alcohol for the club. No. Then he had me, what? and then like, I'm, God, I'm, that's I'm, depressing. He, 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 I helped him load that shit instead oh. of what, like oh. Costco or some yeah. shit. And then he tried to <laughs> give me, <laughs> he, he took me to Smart and Final. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for real. <laughs> they tried to take me to the, get mall. the big pallet. Hey, you know how to drive the, the pallet, pallet, right? You're they Mexican. This, that's man. fucked yeah. up, man. You want to go to the mall and shop? <laughs> that's, the, that's the trick and I said I'm good but then I found out that later on that other community had filed for let's go to the mall and walk around but <laughs> he has, he gives you a bunch of flyers too to walk around no. that oh <laughs> oh god so you're there trying to so shop trying to buy socks but you gotta oh pass out flyers there. oh, oh I, I love comedy who's headlining me me sorry <laughs> I am. Please come. It's bubblegum night. Bring your family. Bring a rapper. Where are you going? Bring everybody. Please. Bring a Sprite can, please. <laughs> you should, 
I would take all the flyers and just write, help me. On all yeah, of them. yeah, help. Please uh, call the police. Please. please call the police. This guy's being kidnapped here by this guy. I mean, he made me... <laughs> He made me a day laborer. He's, he's very dangerous and possibly armed. Tase him. <laughs> Don't talk to him. Tase him right away. That's terrible. That's yeah, so he will talk. He will talk to other comics after. And I'm ever supposed to a lot of comics that they all did that except me. Oh, Man, that's wow. so. I mean, that's there. There was that time where we were starting out where it was just like we're like, all right, guess this. We'll is what do what do. it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew a guy in El Paso. I worked with, I worked with a comic. Who actually made his own fake El Paso comic strip tickets, and when he was using <laughs> free passes, up. right? It was, he put free passes <laughs> to comic strip, and he was using those around town to get like free rentals, <laughs> and he was using that shit as uh, like as collateral as as, as um, comic strip money. Oh. Like he went to a he went to um a blockbuster. And he goes yeah. He goes we're just doing this Friday. Here's like a hundred tickets, man. You got one? I'll go. He go and then he, he got he got he got a free rental for a, a DVD player to watch DVD in the condo. And he was using these as Chico's tacos, bro. It was like shoot bucks. It's like a hundred people showing up. It's man. like Disney money. Bro. Can't believe. It was Wait, it was, time out. It was, we gotta I don't go back to name, shoot blood. It was, what? It was shoot bucks. <laughs> What's that mean? In, in the office, that guy Dwight Schrute, yeah. he made up his own money for the office. Oh, that's oh. so funny. So he made up his own earn. I never saw that. He made his own uh, money. Man. I did. I didn't know what he said. <laughs> got it. Yeah, that's got the shoot box. Got, got it. Got yeah, it. nice. But he, it worked for him. That's, that's incredible. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> I work, you ever work with he a comedian that's horny all the time? Yeah. That what? That's always horny. Uh, is that, oh, yeah. By Me the too. way. Joy Medina. Isn't that all comics? Yeah. I'm just curious. Yeah. Well, some people are <laughs> some people are shy. Like me, I, I, I'm not the kind of going to approach a girl. But if I kill, you I'm going to stand with the but I, I'm, I'm gonna stand with a woman's restroom. Really? Like like if I would kill the feature, I would stand because I, I learned from Greg Hahn told me. I was just going to say. He goes, you just, 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 just wait in the back. Who taught you that? Greg Hahn. I was working with him with the Comedy Magic Club. And um, <laughs> man, his, his shirt was all wet, first of all, from the wa water, from his set. From the wet? Oh. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Ah. And um, he goes, come on, man. Let's go, say to the, let's go say hi to the hot chicks outside. So um, we're saying hi to everybody outside. They're coming, hey. And then he goes, all right, man, we've got to go now because then the last, the, the, end of the, 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 the end of the crowd comes out. They're going to think we're perverts that are not here. So he told me to go. I walked with him all the way around the club to, to walk behind the people now. And then we're walking behind the people that they're walking. That's out. creepier. Yeah. <laughs> walking so behind them. Creepy. Well, I was with, um, they're here. So, I take so, a picture with them. Hi, guys. Oh, with Joy Medina. <laughs> and um, he bought a, we went to a sex store. <laughs> and he bought a, and I thought he was going to buy like boots or something. Yeah. He bought a feather, like a tickling feather. Dude, he was, he was, he had, he was fucking tickling every woman in the show <laughs> with that feather. Jesus. From the stage? Just the feather? Yeah. He use anything else? No, you just had the feather. All right. <laughs> just get. But would it work? No, man. Like a pervert, you know, just touching people <gasps> with a feather. <laughs> but like, would women be like, oh my God, you're so funny. I think by the hundredth one. Oh, because oh, she was tired. The yeah. Gene Simmons method. Because he'll do it to all of them. <laughs> hit a hundred women. Hit hundred women. That one put says in yes. Ten thousand hours. Ninety nine knows. <laughs> Keep going. Ninety nine knows one yes. Yeah. But yeah, just curious if it worked. Because I, I thought you said you wait by the bathroom. Oh no! I would, well, no, I would. Uh, Grace said so. I, I would um see somebody get up and, during the headliner's show, and then I, and then I slowly I'm walking with them out oh. so they could run into them. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> like if it was a, a cute, cute girl or something. Yeah, I'll okay, run into okay, them. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I like the, I'm you glad you're funny. Wasn't. You want to smoke a blunt right now? <laughs> there you go. And then but my my husband's over there. Oh, you could come too. I'll just leave him there. Okay. Yeah, oh, like, shit. I feel yeah. like... Did you get you hit on the road? Hit on no, the road? No, never. Never? No, of course. Of course. course. Yes. Men, the only way... I mean, a couple times even hit on by women, but always, always... Always, it's uh, a woman and her husband. Or a, yeah, yeah, for, a third, for me like, now, no, it's a woman and her girlfriend. I've gotten offered. Okay, congratulations. I get hit by a woman Ooh. who's like bi maybe, mm -hmm. and her girlfriend is not bi. Okay. And then she's, she's like getting mad because she's getting too close to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay. I had that um this weekend. But then when my wife showed up, I said, my wife is here. She ran. And <laughs> 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 it ruined it. Wives ruin your action. Well, wait a minute. Your wife would have tagged in, I think. No? Probably, but that girl ran. <laughs> All 
I'm just saying, yeah, I get a lot of like weird offers on the road, but Uh-oh. also like um, male, like being on the road with comics, you're bored. Yeah. And so it's like, yeah, all right. The woman's a, the girl's a, the feature's a girl. So, mm-hmm. I mean, let's see, you know, and they always try, but you just, you're like, yeah. no. I'm I'm such a dipshit. I remember being on the road in Florida and this girl was the host and she was like, she drove me back every mm-hmm. night and she'd just pull up and just start talking to me like outside the thing. And I never- that make you nervous? No, it just oh, never okay. dawned on me. I was like, wow, she's, I'm such a fucking moron. Like I could, I, I'm really bad at knowing when someone's giving me rhythm. Oh. I would hit on a woman, but like if one was hitting me, I'd clueless. Oh. And I'd just be in the car like, she sure is talkative. I just want to go eat a snack. <laughs> Just want to go watch the movie, but Jesus, thanks. She's but, never gonna shut up. Like, Boy, she hosts because she can like, talk. So, like she's just talking about like at one point she's like talking about how she's gonna get a headshot in like mm. Monterey, <laughs> and I'm like, oh wow, that's weird. That's weird <laughs> <laughs> she must be that's looking to do commercials. That's well, very comfortable. That's not well, funny. <laughs> a bra isn't funny. That's a bra crazy. is hilarious if it doesn't fit. That's true. <laughs> I remember at the Diana Ross show. Uh huh. I took somebody. <laughs> Okay. And then when we went back to her house, her ex showed up. Oh, oh God. And when we were in the act and everything, and then he, he broke into the house trying Holy to kill shit. us. shit. Did he oh, yell, wait. stop in the name of love? Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I'll be here I'm, all I'm, week. I'm really sorry. I'm he sorry. Said, um, I should be killed. So go on, go on. Hey, hey, we're the cheaters. <laughs> 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 and now I was up all night. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh, he broke but, uh, in the house? At first I heard that the doorbell, right? Beanie. And he goes, go, who, who the fuck would that be? I said, I don't know. Bitch, you live here. You should know. <laughs> oh, how would I know? And I then like, um, bitch, you live here. But then I flew with her ex. He sweet broke, talking he, man. He broke into <laughs> it's a real sweet. He broke into man. the house, man. He ran. Oh my and, and god. Then, and then like she. That's a boner killer. She left me Is there, it? bro. She just ran outside, and she went uh, like I was. I, I was not <laughs> oh, there by yourself. I was there. <laughs> electrician. I worked late. I was not there long enough to know the escape routes, you know? No, oh, yeah. So I just no. ran into the bathroom. Just yeah. disoriented. And I held the door closed, and this guy was stabbing the door. Shut it. Yeah. With a fucking knife? You fucking asshole, blah, blah, blah. Was it Jack Nicholson? I'm I like, don't know, man. It was Juan Nicholson. God. But, bro, he was... Juan Nicholson. But it was funny, man. Like, he was crying, man. Like, oh, like hurt and that crying. That sucks. Like, yeah. It's off, dude. And I was, like, jerking off to his crying, bro. Yeah. Because you're still like, hard. Yeah, give me a heart, I get like it. Bro, rock sure. hard. Like you're saying it with the hard on. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't a have any money on this story con- getting darker. But yeah. it did. <laughs> it got, got so dark. Got, the glow in the dark lit up. Dark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the fuck, man, I was, I was laughing, bro. I, I Did you throw the glow in the dark uh, condom at him? I said, I'm sorry, bro. It's, not, it's, a, it's a part of life. <laughs> no. And then the cops showed Imagine up. Imagine a knife coming through. The cops through, showed up. And you're and, saying and they, that. they arrested that motherfucker, right? Uh-huh. And um, he's looking at me, like, sad. And I looked at him, yeah, man. I, I tore it up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But it was crazy because I was Did they let na- you get dressed at least? Fuck oh, no. I was butt naked, naked yeah, man. Yeah. I was wearing a, a Phoenix Police Department jacket with no clothes on. <laughs> it's nice they gave you a jacket. And you I have like, short legs. And I have your pants. I have really short legs. Like, no, I just got these clean. So <laughs> it, it was covered on my butt. It looked like a skirty. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so I was just wearing a police, like a victim's jacket. <laughs> Like a rape oh, victim jacket. I thought a cop gave you his jacket. No, oh, no, like, no. That's like the, the nicest cop I've ever heard of. You know when they put the big jacket over you? Put this on. You okay? <laughs> I'm Have like you recovered the, from this trauma? Just a casually gay cop? That's all right. Come here. But it was you funny, okay? man. You're naked, huh? You look <laughs> good. Do you work out? You're a good cop. <laughs> your hands I was off seeing me. an ambulance like this. People uh-huh. think I heard. <laughs> so, so you all right? Nothing happened to me, man. You're like, I came. Yeah. I don't we know. We need a new yeah. door. I had a really. We need a new tour. And I, I, I told her, I'm, I'm leaving, man. I told the cop, left. Oh, you're going to leave now? Yeah, bitch. Uh, Who else is yeah, coming? Yeah, bitch. But I ended up staying, man, right in ground zero, broken glass everywhere. Wow. Oh, my God. People pissing on the sidewalks. Just don't care. Just don't care. So sorry. Yeah. Da, 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 I'll go da, da, da. out. I'll leave as well. Don't. Nah, push, I apologize. <laughs> I stood because I had another show. You what? Oh, you stayed because you had another show? Sure. Oh, wait, is that where you were staying? Wait, was she staying in the comedy condo? No, 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 like the same night of Diana Ross. It wasn't her house. <laughs> I just love, I don't know the escape routes. You live here, bitch. That yeah. should be your t-shirt. Mm-hmm. You live here, bitch. 
That's a good one. I like that. Now, both of you, how long, when did you start doing stand-up? Can I ask you that? Like 20 years ago, like 1990. 30 years ago. You're 30? Okay. Yeah. You yeah. don't remember the year? Either. Oh, I'm 90. I mean, well, I I'm 99, so it's, it's over 20 now. Oh, oh okay. regular at 99. Oh, Christ. You became a regular here yeah, in 99. 99. Wow. 99 or 98. Wow. And um, 2014. But I started in um, 94. Uh huh. But no, nobody really noticed. Uh, I think I did. Yeah. I always thought you were funny. I, I Because I started here in 93 as a waitress. Wow. I'll be oh, dead okay, within okay. the hour. I started Everything's at the fine. Natural Fudge <laughs> in um, Natural Fudge Natural Theater. Fudge. With, I met Such a funny one. First people I met there was um, Alonzo Bowden, the best. Freddie Soto, yeah. Cynthia Levine, oh, See? and Freddie. Jamie Kennedy. I remember that whole crew. Twins. The Mooney oh, yeah. Twins. Mooney twins, yes. Yeah. Um, I used to you know open Freddie? for Alonzo. Brian Holtzman, too. I opened for Alonzo at Harvey's. No, that's funny. I remember, I remember that being just like uh, awesome. Like, this is dope. What a great weekend. He was yeah. so fun, man. Did you know Freddie Soto? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's Freddie, one of the funniest guys of all time. And yeah, that's so fucked up when he died, man. I remember, I remember that 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 messed me up because I didn't. We weren't like friends, mm -hmm. really. You know, I just had met him, but yeah. like he's one of the good, my favorite dudes to watch. Oh, that's awesome. That that irregardless bit, it's still in my head all the time. It's it, regardless, yeah. regardless, yeah. Yeah. regardless. <laughs> that's funny because you say irregardless. Uh, somebody was doing a tour. I think it was Kevin James. And it was called Irregardless. And somebody sent it to me because me and Freddie were best friends. Yeah. And he was like, yo, they're stealing Freddie's thing. And I go, it's regardless. Oh, I thought he's not said, irregardless. I thought he was saying irregardless. irregardless. No, it's just he said, did it with the accent. Oh. So. My, first, my first joke he said was the one where his dad told him to go find something. <laughs> And he, can't, and, he, and, he, and he can't find it. <laughs> lefter, lefter. If it's not there, look goes, for oh, lefter. Goes, you can't find it. Oh. But if your friend Bobby said look for it, <laughs> you would have found it right away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Charlie, I found it. Charlie, I found it. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> his best friend was Carlos. Yeah. So it, but his, they yeah. used to call him Charlie. So he did Charlie on stage. <laughs> oh, Charlie, I found <laughs> it. So stupid. But oh my God, it's so funny. But that crew, like, Felipe, Gabriel, uh, Freddie, like Johnny Sanchez, they were like Mitzi's Johnny. favorites. Alex Thomas, remember that? Daryl Heath. Daryl Heath. You guys were like the the young crew that That's dope. she was trying to like, you know, they were she always said, She sent me and Marilyn Martinez and Gabriel Iglesias to start a Latino night in La Jolla called Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here, there was a night of a thousand goombas, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loved the <laughs> Tommy theme. Tommy Rivera says, why are guys not here? He's not fucking Italian. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great fight. Wait, did you, you didn't, never met Mitzi, right? No, I I, I, like... I auditioned for Mitzi when I first oh. moved to L.A. and did not get passed. Okay. But I think Steve Byrne got passed. I didn't. Got uh, it. Okay. And, and oh, I it also was like, like... Jackson Purdue. It was okay. also... She was... <laughs> It wasn't. It was after I moved here. Actually, and she was. It was that thing where she just wasn't really all there, you know. Right, right, like, right, right, right. You know, like she was watching the videos. Yeah. And I'm not saying that because I didn't get past. <laughs> no, you're definitely all. Awesome, I, mean, I was amazing. She understands. There's something that wasn't up there. She didn't get it. No. But yeah. wait, well, she used to do these theme nights, and that's yes. what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Like, and she had Night of a Thousand Guidos. Yes. It's fun to be a Jew. And ladies of I something of fun to be a Jew. That's the name. Ladies of Rage. I don't know what they no, were on stage. No, no. It's the girls of the comedy store. The girls of the comedy store. just the girls of the yeah. comedy store because Corey, Corey, Freddie's wife used to host. She oh, was the town coordinator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corey Soto used to host it. Princess Corey. So, Princess Corey, yeah. Well, self-acclaimed. But yes, yes, yeah. a princess. <laughs> in her no real coronation ever happened. <laughs> Yeah. I saw Princess Corey at uh, uh, Day of the Dead at oh, the, yeah. uh, Barrow Street. She and, will be there all Lisa. the time. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. And oh, cool. she, was, she told her that she still, she still has Freddie's original number, still calls it. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She, yeah. She's not letting go. Anyway, yeah. no, it's, it's fine. I don't need, it's hard. I get it. It's yeah. hard. And then you look at Cruz, you know, she's got his daughter. Oh, who looks Cruz. exactly like him. Wow. And Cruz just, uh, just graduated. I think she just graduated college or she's staying on a little bit, but oh, wow. technically she's out of college. Like, that's how long. Well, like, all, I would. It'll be 19 years this year. We all have dead people on our phones, yeah? Oh, yeah, a ton. You no, know, no. I never kind of like, it's like, I never I was, just like, I was just texting that person. What the, it's. I still have messages from Freddie. That's my least favorite thing about getting older. 
is like just having, you know, like dead, dead people, people on my phone. Like just people keep dying. It's fucked up. I mean, it's part of life, but, you know. It's yeah. hard to bring the room down. No, you're fine. And that's my you're, time. He's crashing it. He's yeah. crashing it. I don't you know, know if I have saying. dead people. Let's see. No? <laughs> you don't? I, I don't have the heart to delete them. Do you them. delete them? I have not. Who died I've, last I've year? never deleted it. Who first. died last and, year? Like, you never. got Brody? I got Brody. Oh. I'm Brody. Yeah. We're not going to sit here while you look for dead people in your phone, okay? That's a, a sick a, a movie that that guy did. I I see dead people. I see dead people's numbers. <laughs> I see dead comics. <laughs> Brody, a Freddy. I do have a bunch, yeah. Yeah. I just can't delete them. I no. Can't. It's like, but, uh, uh, yeah, he brought up another point, like with the, na- the Night of a Thousand Guidos. It's mm-hmm, fun to yeah. be a Jew. Girls of the It's fun store. to be a Jew. I Arabian Nights was Arabian the best. Arabian Nights. Remember that? Yes. Jesus. Which I'm turned in, I'm in. Into, It's so good. It's like, it's all, it's all just evil. antiquated. Alibaba's and the, and the and the forty yes. Middle Easterns. I mean, we're like, getting death yeah. threats and shit, and she's like, "It's great, it's gonna yes, be it's fine." Evil. People are like, "Hey, that's kind of racist about the Guido thing." Or like, "It's hysterical. Yeah. They're funny." And then we would put like you know the checkered paper, the red yeah. and white at Italian restaurants. Yeah, we would put that all over the tables in the main room. I'd I'd be fucking taping. Things as people are fighting over who's on the lineup and who's more Italian, <laughs> fucking idiots, right? I, I was, it was so ridiculous. But it's fun to be a Jew when they did that night. They had this guy, um, you know, bring all the people that like Bruce Smirnoff, remember Bruce? Yeah, Bruce Smirnoff. So Bruce told, he went, so it was packed. I was like, wow, this is great. And then I went, there was a single woman sitting by herself. So I went up and I said, hey, can I get your drink? I was a waitress. Huh. Say, what well, can I get you to drink? It's a two drink minimum. She goes, I'm going to wait for somebody to buy me a drink. I'm like, what? Man. He, he put it out there as a Jewish single, like a mixer. <laughs> <Sorry>. Oh, wow. <laughs> So the girl was gonna wait for somebody to buy her drink. I'm like, bitch, we don't have time for that. You got it's a two drink. And a good thing, love. there's a good thing. There's no stereotype about <laughs> anyone being cheap. <laughs> oh, it was brutal. It That's was rough. so fucking funny. And then we did have the uh, Latino night, the Taco Tuesday, which I believe was on a Thursday, but it's fine. Was there? We, was we there, there had, we all kinds of shit fucked up. Yeah. Was there no like dirty mix with sticks? <laughs> like anything for there was no Irish. There was group? a Latino show, but it was run by be uh, before my time. The filthy mix. <laughs> it was, it was a, before my time. Yeah, with a Puerto Rican comedian. I forgot his name. Uh, that here? He was, they yeah, did he like was a Hispanic Paul, show? During Paul Rodriguez days. Oh, okay, oh. okay, okay. I forgot his name, but he was Not he was Freddy. known. Chatty, Charlie, I don't know. Who's that guy? Uh, that guy he always wore like the gloves, like like uh, um, Not di- like Dice did. Alex the, Thomas. Yes, right. Yeah. yeah, little guy. Alex Tommy wore one black glove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> Mike, more Michael Jackson than More Michael Dice. Jackson, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Alex Thomas did that, but I'm trying to think of the Puerto Rican comment, and she, they did a... Quentin. Quentin. Oh, He's the one who introduced me Quentin. to the, the, the Latino yeah, yeah, yeah. show at the comedy store. The car guy. When he started it, yeah, Quentin, mm-hmm. Puerto Rican guy. Yeah, yeah, he always used to tell Mitzi, let me fix your car, you know, because she would, like, stop giving him spots. But he was funny, you know. Uh, but it just happened. Yeah. And then he couldn't fix the car, so she wouldn't give him spots. Oh shit! <laughs> like, cause it was a it was a dying car. It was like mm-hmm. nothing you could do. Oh, yeah. It was a little Quentin. Alfa Romeo or a Jaguar. She had all different. That too- Alfa Romeo was her favorite Jaguar. You couldn't get the parts for him. Yeah, and Jags die all the time. All the time. Yeah, he so- would just try to like give it CPR, and I'm like, yeah. man, but he was great, Quentin. I love. I don't know how I remember that name, man. Yeah, isn't Isn't that that cool though? When it just comes right in there, that's so. Like when I went to Marilyn Martinez um, uh, funeral, yeah, yeah, uh, there was a a comedian there. Marilyn's still in here. She didn't think I knew her name. I said, I know who you are. (laughs) She goes, goes, no, you know, yeah, your name is La Boca. I remember you. Mm. You should do the oh, I, Anita Baker joke. Oh, hee haw. Oh, oh viva la cosa. <laughs> Anita Baker in every language, right? Or something like that. Oh, hee haw. She was, was, really? was Paul Mooney's opener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she would sit oh, wow. in the back and laugh. It's very funny. Her name was Suzanne Souter. Suzanne Souter. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. You know, I did this podcast and they were like, you've been at the store so long. So we, you know, um, Derek, Post, and, and uh, Asan, they live in Austin now. And yeah. they do this, po- I can't think of the name of their podcast. I'm sorry, don't hate me. But um, so they did this thing. They go, we took, we got the names on the wall and we just pick random ones. And we're going to say them and see if you know them. Oh, cool. Because of how long I've been at the store. That's cool. And they brought up, they brought up Quentin. And so I got Quentin. But like, they were like, who's Suzanne Sue? 
suitor and I'm like, oh, hee haw. Oh, viva la cosa. Like, I just, I their acts are stuck mm-hmm. in my yeah. head. Think, think Certain ones. Own I have, I, I've collected people's own like, names. openers Jeez. all through my life. Like, yeah. Because it's like that, because that's to me, that's the hardest thing. We just to get people's attention and they, you know, like, yeah. they, you know, like, because it's so rare someone has a, a bit. Mm-hmm. They start with a bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Atel always did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. like... O'Brien remember, and Valdez. Oh, Brian Valdez. <laughs> we had a Valdez, were there, but it was... Were what's they, his name? Were they paid regulars here? Who? They were. How? Their names... That's how their photo up there. If their name's on the yeah, wall. Yeah, O'Brien, O'Brien and Valdez. It was an Irish O'Brien guy. O'Brien and yeah. Valdez. And they were a, a blind... It was a, a, they were, like, a team? Yeah, it was okay. a, a, she a loved Irish teams, guy by the way, yeah. and a blind Mexican. Oh. oh wow. Okay, yeah, they okay, made it, okay. their bid was. See, I don't know them. Yeah, I, we met it in a I've car seen accident. The name. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was their bid. That's and good. then it will close with here's a couple of our Hollywood, um, our, our vacation photos, and they will have like a clicker, and uh-huh. then the, they will just stand in different positions, <laughs> and then about um, this will be looking the wrong way. <laughs> and O'Brien was like the drunk uh, yeah, yeah, Irish yeah. guy, of course, of course. The, all and, the um, stereotypes. Sure, sure. But then when I met Paul. Rodriguez, he told me that O'Brien used to have a different Latino guy back in the days. Oh. Yeah, it was O'Brien and Censor. He was trading them out. out. That's crazy. <laughs> he was trading them out. Wow, okay. I, I, like, or they stopped doing it. It's like Jimmy yeah. and Joey. You got to get their, a new, Their photo Jimmy is up there. I saw it. It, it is like the this the modern era of comedy. My favorite thing about it is that we all try to write new stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like some more than others. Back but then, every, they had an act. Dude, like, I remember yes. a guy, I opened for a guy in Chicago, and he crushed, and he was in Zanies, real funny, you know, like, I was, but it was all stuff about his wife. Chubby you know, guy? Like, yeah, yeah, No, he was actually, like, pretty, oh. like, like ripped, like, my, like, one of those guys that go back to the hotel gym and work out all the time, but after the show, like, uh, uh, like, he gets off, and he goes and stands by the bar, and he's just, like, shaking, and I'm like, hey, man, and he's like, he's like, hey, good set, how, how long you been doing it? It looked like he looked like he was dope sick, you know. Yeah. Oh, but I, I think what hit me, it wasn't that. It was that he'd been doing the same hour and he don't for know. like twenty years. Yeah, yeah. And it's like it was a thing where he was sick of his material on a level that oh, we'll I, I can't never imagine. Have. Never we'll know. never know. You know what I mean? Thank this God. This is my theory. Yeah. But it was like yeah. I was like, oh, there were parts where he was almost just wincing as people were laughing because he was just Holy so tired of it. Shit. You know? I worked with a guy that died in Hartford, funny bone. Mm-hmm. And I, I thought you were talking with the same guy. Oh, he's an old chubby guy, but he lost a lot of weight now. And um, okay. all his he had a t- he did thirty, and like I was thinking about his jokes when I was on stage because they were so funny. Uh-huh. Yeah. But he did the, he did the same thirty for like you know, thirty night, years. Every oh, night he did the same shit. night. Like I, I knew. So how, did he have like like curly brown hair? Yeah, I knew how to time did? his set. Oh, like, me too. Like I could I could I could oh he, he's he's up. I know where he's at right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where he's at. Uh-huh. From waiting but, tables, I could tie. I, I know where he's yeah. at right now. He was a chubby dude. He had a, a bit about um, calling a Chinese restaurant. Mm-hmm. Oh. And going, wow, how? <laughs> and he did, it, he did it over and over. He did it perfect. Wow. <laughs> You're There's like, this guy's guy a I good racist. I worked with a comedian that was real funny. And he was, he was, he, I, th- I thought we were going to cr- clash material or mm-hmm. subjects. But I'm not the kind of, I'm, I'm the person that if I, even a person talks about the same thing I am, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me because yeah, yeah, the opposite yeah. of what I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah. I worked with a guy named um, he was real funny. His name was um, man. Oh, man, his his name is the same name of some television show I watch about, about Washington spies. Oh, his shit. name is Andy something. Andy okay. Kupernick or Kupernick. Okay. okay, okay. He's a Chicago comedian too. In um, Chicago comedian. Fuck, I wish I knew his name, man. Oh, I hate that. You know this show on 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 um on on fucking AMC called um Turn. Churn? Yeah, Turn. Turn. And there's a guy oh, on the turn. show named Andy. Oh, Turn. Yeah, like I, Turncoat. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And but it was like the name of one of the characters on the show. Yeah, his it's name. The, same the, the, name the main character in the show is, is Andy Woodcup. Andy Woodcup. Okay. Uh, Woodcup. Oh, wait, wait. Andy Woodcup. Andy Woodhall. Yeah, yeah, Andy Woodhall. Yeah, yeah, I work with a comedian named Andy Woodhall. Mm-hmm. Woodhall. But he has, he has the same like name as one of these man. guys right here. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. And he talks about his his being like a a stepfather, right? But his his whole act is about being a good father. Yeah. Okay. Too good of a father. Yeah. And me, I go in there opposite of what he's saying. Nice. Like, yeah. like, so it, it worked well. Oh, that's because, funny. Because oh, he but he to, crushed and, and he's then you totally crushed. clean, man. With his, right. But like he talks about like all oh, about about raising two daughters that aren't his, mm-hmm. right? Okay. And that, how, how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I talked about how um, my joke was more like 
I went to go pick up my son and his two stepbrothers showed up. And I'm like, hey, man, if you're not on my deductions, you can't come. That's funny. And then my son would say, like, how come they can't go? I said, I don't Listen to me, hope. if they get lost, I don't you're know right. how long to look for someone that I really don't care about. <laughs> yeah. So he was totally opposite of him. Yeah. That's great. Andy Woodhall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny. funny guy, funny guy. Andy Woodhall. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, it, uh, those guys, though, they did perfect. Same a shit, time. man, every night. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, pervade them. Like, and we, yeah. we had that here, too. And you know, mm -hmm. the sets are only 15 I never had minutes. that. I, was, good. I used to get jealous oh, yeah, of that. Nice. That's where, where, when I started like, out. Like, in a good way, you think that's better, or you think, well, How the way we do it now When I did my one hour special last week in uh, Sacramento, um, I was practicing that whole hour, and as soon as it was gone, like, You're like I felt free, God, man. Yeah. yeah that's how, it's, like, it's like taking a dump. Yeah. You're just like, I'm done with this. I'm tired time. of this material. I've done it. You know, like, when I st we started out, me and the Chicago gang, in a place called Lion's Den, you would sign up. Everyone got five minutes, and it was like 30 people. Right. They'd ring a bell, and then it was done. Holy shit. I remember shit. getting there, and your bell go off, like, fuck. Like, I took a train. God damn it. And, like, you know, it was like, you know, me, Kyle Kinane, Hannibal Burris. Uh, Kamel, you know, oh, wow. uh, uh, Pete Holmes, uh, T.J. Miller, mm. uh, Emily DeRezes, John Roy, McBenton, Kurt. Uh, we had, and, but our thing was always, <laughs> we were always like, we, we like write new stuff, write new stuff. And the yeah. only guy who would do who do material twice was like uh, the we'd see the most would be like John Roy, and we'd we'd bust his balls. But then he'd drive away in a car that he owned. None of us right. had a car, <laughs> and be like, "Enjoy your jobs, fuckos. I'm playing a club. You know, oh, none of us play clubs. God, so it was yeah. that thing. I'm where sleeping in like, my car tonight, guys. Yeah, you gotta you gotta hone your shit. You have a car, you know. <laughs> you know? But yeah, it's like that's. I don't think you need to always always do material at all. Like you gotta work your material. You yeah, know? you gotta but, work it, of course. But, the, but but I do have that fear of like having the same hour. To keep it for you. ten years is oh, as a whole die. nother. Like I would there die. Was, I always tell the this love story. Love master. That love master. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> there was there was a uh, a night we were like short on comics. No comics were here. Nobody was here. And Mitzi wouldn't let door guys go up. And this was like nineties. Yeah, this is the nineties. So you know th it was yeah. different. Mitzi was like in it, you know, uh -huh. and we had a, I go, why don't we just stretch the comic? And the manager looked at me and goes, what's he going to do? Start over? Like, because he only had a good 15 minutes. I've done, I, I, I was like, that shit. other places where they tell the hoes at the other club down the street <laughs> to go long. Yeah, they have no <laughs> back of room. And you see him just the panic, the flop sweat break out. Uh, I yeah. do get nervous sometimes when they say Stretch that. Stretch it out. Because uh, I'm like, then what do I do? Start this bit? And mm -hmm. like that happened to me at the cellar a couple nights ago. Atel had to go somewhere. So they were like, stretch a little. And I was like, yeah, but then what? I get into something and then he comes back. And then I'm this, what if I'm bombing? What if that last part yeah. bombs? I just did good, you know? Yeah. So they were like this and I started to sweat. And I was like, just yeah. fucking do it. You know how to stretch. Yeah, yeah. yeah Like, man. just don't be a dick. What are you thinking of? Jesus. It's so unprofessional yeah. of me. Did you have a show tonight? I did, uh, yeah, I did, I did Sam Tripoli on the show. Spot. How was Sam Tripoli's show? Good, man. My Fun. I, I performed my birthday. I wanted to perform, so. Happy birthday. Is your birthday right now? Yeah. Happy birthday, dude. Yeah. I got to go back and make sure they don't steal my bag right now. Nobody's okay. going to steal your bag. Trust me. Sam Tripoli will not let them steal your bag. Oh, I got to go. Okay. Go. All right, brother. Thank you, man. Yeah, Thank you. Happy Thanks for having me. Boom. FelipeWorld.com. Gonna... Yes. Um, I'm coming to... Um, I'm starting a tour, the my leisure tour in September, but I'm coming to um, Australia next <gasps> month. Proud of in you. August, I'm going to Perth, Brisbane, Sydney, Auckland, and um, the others. The Brisbane. Other Melbourne? Melbourne, yeah. Melbourne. Melbourne. Great town. You're going to love it. Perth has good food, by the way. Hit me up, man. Like I'll, be at, I'll be at um, Gomez. Why Gomez? <laughs> oh, well, now, when you did your special, when's that come out or you don't know? I don't yet? know. Okay. But you we'll see where um, Judy Marmel takes it. <laughs> Way to go, Judy. <laughs> Thank you, fool. Oh, her birthday was just the other day, wasn't oh, it? I uh, see. So, Jeff Valdez. <laughs> Don't bring Diaz. Hey, motherfucker. Uh, Maddie Bronger. So I guess we can talk now that he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, thank you. I apologize. That what? Uh, Ingram usually is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we got Felipe to come down. That was fun. To fill in. That was so cool. I love it. I don't yeah. even know if you guys know each other. We've yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I know. I I've seen uh, Felipe like at, at clubs forever, and we were always, uh, or at least once. The two of us were at one of Eric Andre's birthday parties. Oh, okay. Yeah, which are always just what, um, a nut. 
Wait, so you, what year do you, experience. did you showcase from Mitzi? Did you say that? Or did you I want to it must have been 2003 or four when I moved Okay, here. so, or, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, her health was declining. Yeah, she was kind of hunched over mm-hmm. and, you know, had the guy that was helping her around wherever she went. So Alfred. Like, yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah. I, I get it. And it's mm-hmm. it's so hard because then she would watch them at home. Like, they started recording them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then, um, she, you know, that was even harder. Because I remember I showcased with Crystalia. She actually came in for this. And it was Crystalia and um, Tim Gaither, myself. I forget who else. Yeah. I, I got Tim the showcase because okay. Tim, I saw him somewhere and I was like, he's so funny. Yeah. Gotta go meet Tommy. Yeah. And then he met Tommy and Tommy loved him. And then Tommy got him a showcase for Mitzi. Okay. Um, so uh we were showcase. Tim did great. Chris D'Elia did great. I did like okay. I thought it was mm-hmm. in the main room, but again, I was three months in. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And the nerve of me to showcase for Mitzi three months in, but she, you know, I, yeah. I wanted to show her wasn't like taking, I was yeah. taking it serious. Cool. I didn't expect to get past or anything like yeah. that. Like, because we were good friends for like 12 years. Oh, yeah. So, um, Anyway, so she she then rewatched it at home, and she goes, "Chris was filthy," and I was like, "No, he wasn't." Whoa! Like she didn't pass me or Chris, but yeah. she passed him, and we were like, "What mm-hmm. the fuck?" Like I assume Chris easily, yeah. And um, she just because he crushed, right, 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 right. She goes, "He was filthy," but it wasn't him; it was somebody after. Us oh no! That went on because oh, we wow. showcased between a show, That's... and she got it confused. Yeah, and then Chris was like, "What the fuck? What do I have to do?" You mm-hmm. know, like we were so so her health and her yeah, and it was uh, it was a it, little it was it was that thing where I I remember getting like you know did did well, but like yeah, it wasn't like wasn't like oh fucking ring the bell. This no one's ever crushed yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah, and I was like all right, and I definitely was a little nervous, but I remember passing her and being like you know um being like. Uh, thanks, Mitzi. Thanks for the opportunity, or something like that, really fast. And it was just like I, it was like I didn't exist, and I knew it was. Oh, well, that's normal. It, it wasn't. Well, that's no, how she does. But it also wasn't. There was no. There was no. No one there. Like yeah, I got it. It was that thing. I've been yeah. ignored. Okay, it wasn't yeah. exactly that. Yeah, because she it wouldn't had have that. minded, you know. But she had that down to a science where mm-hmm. people would just walk by and be like, "Hey, Mitzi, thanks for the opportunity." She but. And you just feel the daggers, and you're like, sure, sure, right sure, now. right. But she didn't even look. You're like, whoa, she got an oh, invisible bow and arrow shit. somewhere. Yeah, that hurts. And and uh, it was also like, this was before kind of the where the store started coming back again. You know, which oh is about, yeah, sure. Which you, is those about, are the dead years, 2003. We call yeah. it, it was for a while. Like me and Ingram yeah. always joke that mm-hmm. uh, the dead years it was the inmates running the asylum, and yeah. we were just here well, fucking shit up. It, it was like the 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 improv was was pretty much booming and you also had uh um Dublin's Oh like, yeah yeah where the, like the street with Jay Davis where, yeah. yeah where like Jay, Animad, and, yeah. Jay and Dane ru- ruled the roof right, right, right. and I remember going there with friends and just being like this is bananas mm-hmm. it was just packed We would leave here we would all... close this and go over there on Man, Tuesday <laughs> I remember that I I went one night and it was like and cuz Dane would 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 you know, close, but then Alonzo Bowden would go after yeah. him and oh, yeah. be in a chair. And I was like, fucking, this is so cool that he just has the balls to do that. Alonzo's know? so good. Yeah, he's so good. But I will say, I that was the first time I saw uh, Bert and, oh yeah, I was just saying how like people's opening lines have collected. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, once they just grab, like Solomon Giorgio has like, I'm gay and African, which means I can make AIDS from scratch. Like it's just a grabber. <laughs> just gets you right away. So fucked up, but so funny. You know what I mean? And you're just like, all right, I get who you are. <laughs> uh, but Bert at the Bert Kreischer goes up at the um, at Dane show, and it's just like comic after comic, and it's just packed with all these Hollywood chicks yeah. that are all just like waiting for Dane Cook to get on stage, you know, and cool dudes waiting for Dane Cook to get on stage. They're all dressed right, right, great. Right, right. The fucking van, you know, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say van, <laughs> but oh. those hats called. I don't, with the biker hat? Like, the, the the trucker hats. Trucker hats. Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vaughn. Vaughn Dutch. Von Thank Dutch. you. Vaughn Dutch. I almost said Van Helsing. I literally was like, Vans, and right, I'm the, thinking Vans. like The hero of weird. Dracula? They're fans? <laughs> big um, Dane fans. Yeah, big, so they're they're all uh, you know, packed we in there. We love Dracula. We love Dane. We love all of it. I love gothic <laughs> literature. <laughs> this, so Bert runs out on stage, and you can see these girls just kind of, their eyes glaze over. Here's like, Fat Bert. And right. Bert just he gets dressed the mic and goes, Ah, oh, she took a shit so messy I had to wipe my legs. How are you guys? <laughs> and that made me so 
happy. happy. And yeah. I laughed so hard because I just watched women all around me go, oh. Yeah. But laugh. Especially they like, still oh, eat, my he, God. He yes. Oh, my God. But they're still to say that laughing. Because out loud. it was just out of nowhere. Yeah. And like, <laughs> back when, you know, Dane was just like this fucking lithe, sexy dude, you know? And like, yeah, I never he was saw waiting that. for him, you know? <laughs> And then Fat Bird is like, oh, the shit I took. <laughs> it's one of my favorite Hollywood just memories. Just a real person yeah. coming on stage. <laughs> and then all those Hollywood, yeah. like, fake yes. girls in the crowd just... Because they would, they would, like, Dane, um, not Dane, but, like, Jay, when he would do his shows. Yeah. Every time I do them, I'm like, what do you, do you go to modeling agencies to get right. the crowd? Like, yeah. I, I've never felt so insecure, so dude. Weird, like, man. And he's like, just go be funny, man. Just have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. like, no, no, I that's uncomfortable. I, you know, I don't yeah. want to look and think about Strange. what I don't. Like, Strange I come up audience. and I'm like, oh, that's what girls are supposed to look like. Fuck. You yeah. know? Audiences in Hollywood at that era was like, I remember seeing a guy. Every J show, which yeah. is Well, no, but also, also in the bars. Also <laughs> yeah. in the bars. These dudes in like super tight. Yeah. Like, I was, they, they'd have like the super, they were ripped. And they'd have a super tight t-shirt mm -hmm. and like loose jeans and like <laughs> flip flops. Yeah, yeah. And like manicured feet. And then bedazzled pants. Yes. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, uh, true religion jeans. Oh, and, nothing made me yeah. cry. And I, I gotta seeing, be honest. I remember seeing a guy watching a comic on stage, and he, the the comic. I don't know if the comic was filthy or whatever, but this guy's got a drink, and he's got sunglasses on in the bar, and he's like, huh. like shade tips to look at the comic. Like, oh. what did he say? Like, you listen with your eyes. I like, hate. Yeah. Huh? And it was like, oh my god, you're wearing a. You're wearing sunglasses in a bar. Right. It's dark. Ed Hardy B, shirt. Yes. Yeah. Ed Hardy shirt. Your shade tipping. That whole era just dried me out. Really, I would wipe with bounce sheets. Like, it, it was, was <laughs> not good. And it was the era of, uh, uh, there were comics that were book and acting work. So it was like, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I was like, I was like, cool. And like, you know, I wasn't getting close back then to getting any of that. It was years before I got any of that. But boy, did I see a lot of wannabe Dane Cooks whose agents or managers were like, were telling them it's a good way to get noticed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go up, do stand-up, and they were eating shit. Beautiful, beautiful men were getting put up at the at the And improv, women, I the saw it. Factory, I saw it everywhere. And just I'm eating their own dicks on stage. It was so bad. And they would, and it was like, I was like, I was like, I've, I, it's odd for me, a chinless man, <laughs> to feel sorry for this dude, you know, right, right, right. who looks like chiseled out of. And this was back when I was just like, I was, I was, I was like, I was kind of built like a maybe a John Candy with AIDS. Like it's okay. a terrible way to put. Okay, it. I like. But I like that was, visual. I was tall and 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 I had that the same like that same waddle. You know, it was much oh, bigger than this. Stop and, it. You know, it's kind of like a, a, I was built like this, but I, I was 40 pounds heavier than I am now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. No, no, no shit. Yeah. Oh, I, was, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, congrats. You kept it off. Th how thanks. Because I, I know you like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been how like this long? a while. Okay. Yeah. Well, it was also like I worked uh, like, you know, desk job. And yeah, yeah, Kind yeah. of like... You're sitting, you're miserable, you're eating, eating my whatever. Sadness. Yes, exactly. Sure, eating For the sure. feelings is a good Drinking way every single life. night, you know, yeah. So... And you're, by the way, you're a hell of an actor, too. <laughs> not only <Go> on. hilarious, <laughs> I will, uh, but not only hysterical, but like a really good actor, Oh, too, thanks. Which is, you know, sometimes you can do one or the other. Mm -hmm. It's rare when they have both. Well, that, that's like what I... I'm, I, I, when I was a kid, I thought I was an amazing actor. I thought I was so I, good. I, same. I'm with I you. I thought I was so good. I thought I could do every accent. No. I, I did every yeah. accent. I could cry on cues. Sure. Trust. Bitch. Yeah, Trust. yeah. Trust. Yeah. And like, you know, I went to college and, you know, went to... I got a, I got an acting degree, a theater degree. Uh, and then that gives you nothing. But I uh, was able to get like you know, desk jobs with the, with the, with the diploma and all that jazz, but I was doing improv and all that stuff and doing, yeah, yeah. and stand-up was a thing that was like, oh, this clicks mm -hmm. because it's like, I can do it. I'm good at it. Or it was after a while. And then, uh, this, then that opened the door. If I was, if I just came to LA or New York as an actor, I never would have gotten any work. I really doubt oh, it. I did and I didn't get work. So you're right. Wow. About that. It's just impossible. <laughs> 
It's impossible. I mean, I tried. I show. I auditioned. Yeah. I did all kinds of. Mm-hmm. I became a wrestler. Shit. I, wow. I did all kinds of stuff. I thought it was going to be a TV show, but it was real wrestling. Oh shit! And it was called Wow Women of Wrestling. Yes. Almost like I remember Wow. Yeah, I was Easy Rider, so oh, everything's okay. working out. I feel fine. I love and, it. <laughs> but like, that's you know, great though. I'm like, I got the job, but I got, I really got it because. I went in talking shit, and they were like, "Yeah, she's a little crazy." But Freddie's wife, Freddie Soto's wife, yeah. Princess Corey, was um, working as a PA or something okay. on the show, and she's like, "No, you gotta," because the producer was like, "She's too wild," or "She's too crazy," or something. And then Corey was like, "Just look at her tape again." And then they brought me in, and when I tell you, like out of shape, like thin, but like out of shape, right? Yeah, chain smoking. Sure. <laughs> you know, like I remember they made you sit on the wall like the squat thing. Oh, yeah. And I, I, my cigarettes fell out of my pocket. And I just, I was there for a half a second. Yeah. I'm going to say half a second tops. Mm-hmm. And I go, oh, this hurts. And then I just started making them laugh. And I wasn't a comic at all. Oh, wow. I was just talking shit. It's great. And the girls that train you love me so much. There's no way I should have gotten through that first That's so cool. month. But it was all because of making them laugh. That's awesome. And they they were like, we'll just keep her on the talk shit because she's a good shit talker. Because that's, I, I, it's, uh, uh, every, I would argue it's almost even more talking than it is yeah, wrestling that makes people course. love the wrestlers. But I, but yeah. also like in any room, like you just, if you win them over just by being yes. stubborn, being funny and mm-hmm. silly and goofy and not taking everything so fucking serious. Yeah, Absolutely. That works. Yes. It's like uh, uh, an acting teacher I had said to me me once, he's like, why do you think directors hire the same actors for every project they do? And I'm like, they're good actors? He's like, yeah, there's a million good actors. Yeah. Because they can stand them for six months. Right. And you you can have that thing where you get along with people and you bring something to the table. Like, Mm -hmm. speaking of wrestlers, like Rowdy Roddy Piper, when he was in, in, yeah, the coolest guy. And when he was in They Live, Mm -hmm. uh, John Carpenter said he had a book that thick of shit talking, of just lines he'd (laughs) written about stuff. Like, I'm going to beat you so bad, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, he went and sat down with John and was like, I think my character should should go in the bank and say, I came here to kick ass and chew bubble gum and I'm almost out of bubble gum. Like, it was a line that he wrote. (laughs) And John's like, put it in the script right now. And then he uh, uh, he choreographed that alley fight. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he told that story on stage. It's just like so good. Yeah. So it's like they made him a a regular here because he was telling the story. So his name, my name's near his. I get it. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Uh, but yeah, he was coming in with Steve Simone was bringing him in. They were they were oh. going on the road and telling stories, which is such a great oh, yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know they have such fucking wild stories because their road is similar to ours. Yeah. In that like, but br- so much more. Br- I almost I said brutaler. More brutal. So much more brutal. <laughs> so much more brutal. You yeah, because I did Chris Jericho's cruise oh, and yeah. I got to hear a few other comics like that are way from way back telling stories that you're like, oh my. god. God. Yeah. And it's all names you know, you know, like these great uh, guys that you watched growing up. Mm. And then you're hearing like, oh, my God, that's brutal. Yeah. They went through this, that, the other thing. It's crazy. Well, and just kind of it's so much of it is just ignoring pain because, you, you know, if you— if <laughs> Which you, is something we have to do, too. Of course. Ours is, ours is more emotional. Hers just as bad. You know, I didn't do as well as I thought I would in that set. Uh, well, I think they should have laughed harder at that joke. I wrote that one yeah. on the toilet. No <laughs> shit on my leg. Just to stand up on the spot. What's with those shitty suggestions? <laughs> Wasn't my fault I ate shit. No, <laughs> I did But like, it's, it, it was it, a good crowd up there. Oh, it was so fun. It was so fun. Yeah. But do, it, when you came here and started doing stand up like to LA, you came from Portland. You went to Chicago first? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was in uh, college in New York, and then I moved to Chicago because I didn't want to wow. live in a closet. And, you know, I wanted to—I think I was just being lazy. I wanted to enjoy my 20s. And so I just bartended and waited tables and tried, half-acidly tried to get some stage acting work. Got it. And then got into improv and did that, and then got into stand-up and did that. And then yeah. by the time I'd been there six years, I was like, all right, I got to stop waiting tables yeah, at least yeah, here. yeah, yeah. 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 Then I moved here. Let's and then, fucking. Yeah. And that's where, so it was like, and I've been here 21 years now. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. I'm saying wow, like, but I've been here longer than that. <laughs> you know, and Still a long time. Well, but. yeah, the stand-up, but you've been doing stand-up that whole time. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm at 17 years now, but still it feels like forever. Sure. So, um, yeah, I don't even remember certain parts of my life because this, 
stand up makes you feel more present. Does that make sense? Like you no, 100%. have to be. You have to be. You have to be. Yeah. So I feel like I've never been this awake or aware. Of right. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, fuck. Like you, you really, you really feel the days. Mm-hmm. You really, especially on the road. Yeah. You're by yourself. You're just like, Ugh. and now you have kid. You have. I've one, I, I have one kid, and it it's made it it's made the road better and worse. Better in ways where you're like, I'm the out first here. First day's somebody. great. Yeah. It, you're wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, but then like I'm out. That like Saturday when you're when you're like in between two shows, you're just like I just want to go, and then you get a stage. Yeah, you're like, yeah. Yay, we're back. You know, it's fun, but it is it does wear on you, especially sure. if you have like a long run. And you know, like I don't do two like I don't go from weekend to weekend. I do anymore. That. You know, I have no I, responsibility I whatsoever. God bless. I think that's <laughs> awesome. But you know? no, that's smart to separate it mm-hmm. and then be, be enabled. To but it's do like that. you know, I mean, we we did the 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 selfish parenting thing where we had a kid real late, you know, and I don't oh. give a shit, I don't care, you know, but uh, you know, because we're not, you know, super unhealthy people. But it's like it is that thing where it's like we chose to only have one, so it wouldn't just oh, okay. ass rip our entire lives in half, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My wife is like, you have one or you have seven. There's no in between. I'm like, <laughs> well, I like her. I think there's something in between. You know, <laughs> I want she's, a like, she's like, you either blow your life up completely or you, it changes. Yeah. It does, you know, it does it does change your life irreparably, irreparably, but like it's still, you still have a little freedom. Yeah. You know? Yeah. My, my, I remember my sister in law saying, okay, two's enough because you can travel with two. Yeah. I'm like, can you? Like, yeah. Well, Chris Rock had a great point I about always see women. one sucks because it has no one to play with. Two is like you just you're an usher. Like, go to the park, ladies. You know, and they play. <laughs> that's great. Know. Yeah. yeah, 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 so yeah. Like, oh, it's a great. That's that's a really great point. But my wife, I would have done two. She did not want to, and that was. I get it. I was like, that's enough. If no. she's good with it, hundred percent. Yeah, you got to take her word. She's be the, the one going gonna be through that it. Asshole that, I want to <laughs> get it out. You don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> She needs a friend. Switching, switching her birth control pills with like <laughs> Pez. <laughs> uh, but when you came here, was your goal like to get in no the store? My, you probably you didn't care. Ah, uh, you just I wanted to work. Just wanted to work, and like See, that's a great attitude. Yeah, and when when in twenty fourteen, that was my wife and I. Now wife and I had broken up for like eight months, and Ooh. I had nothing to do with myself. And I was just like, a lot of my friends are playing the store, so I just started coming here. Yeah, and like. Uh, they throw me up every once in a while, but I had to do the whole thing where, you know, now if someone, and I already had like a couple specials under my belt and stuff, but like it was just, yeah. I had people that were like working the door. They're like, what? why haven't they passed you yet? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just doing the dance, man. <laughs> yeah. You know? And I was just like, I was also miserable. I had nothing to do with myself. So I was just like, I'll just, you know, hang out here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, was, I wasn't here all the time. We love it when people come miserable. Yeah. <laughs> We suck it right in. Right. <sighs> That's crazy. Is, no, okay, good. Oh, we in trouble? No, I just uh, gotta make sure that it's not like the sitter texting me. I'm good. You have good. a sitter for this? I love it. Well, I, that okay. and this. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. Yeah. My, yeah, but that's the thing. My wife's out of town this week. I'm out of town next week. So it's like, Got that's it. the thing of Got it. one kid. You know, yeah. plus we have daycare too, but mm-hmm. I, I booked... Like three, I had three shows this week. Um, one show last night, Keys to the Store. I, I, none of my, all my sitters fell through. So I couldn't even do it. Oh, so I had shit. to, I had to uh, call Avery and be like, I'm so sorry. But and it was a sick lineup too. Sucks. I saw but, it and I was like excited. I, was I like, know. Oh, I was excited lineup. to do it. But, I just saw Avery. But it's just that thing where I'm like, you know, it, yeah. it sucks. Well, but, you'll get on, they'll switch you. That's yeah, all. Yeah. There's should, always I'm, another. I'm going to do the August one. But yeah, I, I, it is that thing where you're just like, what am I supposed to do? I'm not going to bring her. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, you can. You bring a kid in here, they're cursed. But you know? uh, really? <laughs> I. You might be right. We had comics that would bring their kid, female comics that were like single moms. Sure, yeah. So there's one kid that like both his parents are comics and now he's here doing stand-up. And I'm like, did we do this yeah. to you, baby? I'm sorry. My but- kid loves attention so much. It would just be like, she, yeah. she's seen, she's come to my comedy shows before, like on the road. Mm-hmm. And I think, you know, I think she's wants to do something either more epic or classier. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like she wants to 
headline an, an opera house or something. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. We I remember we because in the kitchen where the ice machine is, they changed it now. But we had these two white couches, oh. so you could sit on these couches. So you come back, you walk through the kitchen, and you just see like a little kid with a Shirley Temple. Like, oh, what the fuck is happening right that's now? Funny. Like that's comedy daycare. That's just. that's eighties parenting. <laughs> My mother would certainly do that. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. it's true, but also I mean, you know, we were all women waitresses. Mitzi only hired women waitresses, yeah. so it was only us in the back, really. Right. We would never let comics, unless you were regulars, walk back here. Mm -hmm. And even them, they all knew who the kids were. Yeah. So it, they would sit and wait for so and so to get off stage or that one to get off stage mm -hmm. and just help out. We all just helped out. That's wild. So it, it's good. It, it, it does, it is okay. But yeah, it's fine. It's, you know, and they weren't little, little. I don't know how old. How old's your daughter? She's three. She'll be three. four in August. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess he was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, Pauly Shore and Peter grew up here. So. Yeah, totally. Case closed. Don't bring your kids here. <laughs> 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 Take that. Yeah. Um, well, I think you're amazing. Thank you. Thanks thank for having you so me on the show. For coming, and we got Felipe as our. That was very fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I did miss Rick. I do love. Uh, I wanted to tell it like you're so fucking funny. I love seeing love you every time you're here, thank and you. you you adapt so well, and I I I hate following uh, Rick. Everybody because, does that to him. That's why I wanted it you know, to happen. Because it's just yeah, and he likes you, so he was pissed. But it's I know, you know shit yeah. happens. Well, Family stuff, just like you said. Is that right? So, oh, yeah, yep. sure. That's yeah. it. He's got two. So wow, <laughs> that's awesome. So he's in it. But, um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for listening. And no. then, Maddie, where can people find you? Oh, yeah, so I will be in uh, New York July 12th, uh, Boston July 13th, and Philadelphia July uh, 14th, um, or is it 11th, 12th, 13th? Damn it. What is it, Helium? Uh, no, they're all city wineries. Oh, so I'm killer. doing like those three. Okay. I did those the city wine. I love. Yeah, they're so great. Fun. They're great. So I'm doing, um, so those are all at mapronger.com. And then there's, I've got a bunch also coming up. Uh, New Orleans, Kansas City. Um, yeah. Uh, doing a little uh, Oregon run uh, that veers off into Boise as well. So Bend, Oregon, Boise, Baker City. Um, anyway, so just go to uh, mapronger.com. See if. He's uh, so funny. Thank Seriously, you. go fucking see him. <laughs> thank you, Honor. Hilarious. Thank you so much. And don't forget to like, subscribe, all that. Check out my special No Country for Old Women on YouTube on the Comedy Store channel. YouTube page. You know what I mean. <laughs> I always say Comedy Store channel. I'm Team Mincy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much. And Maddie, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.